Hello and welcome back to my channel. Did you know that for one or two reasons you could have a travel ban imposed against you by the UAE authorities? Have you worked in the UAE before and you were deported and maybe you are considering coming back for work in the United Arab Emirates or are you thinking of booking your next flight back home? It is important you check if you have any restriction or any travel ban imposed against you. Today, I'll be talking about deportation and travel ban in the United Arab Emirates. If this is what you want to hear, kindly stick around and let's get started. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This video will strictly be for people in the United Arab Emirates. <clears throat> For a number of reasons, the UAE government may place a travel ban against any individual. Travel ban restricts an individual from leaving the country or exiting. For a number of reasons, the UAE government may place a travel ban on you. It is important before you book your next flight either into the UAE or back home, you make a search and find out you do not have any travel ban placed against. If you are thinking of going back home, it is important you also make a check with the immigration of the Emirates or immigration at the airport you would like to use to make sure you answer or respond to any claims against you. I'll be talking about deportation and travel ban. A travel ban is a restriction that restricts an individual from either exiting the country or leaving the, in the UAE. A travel ban can be placed for two reasons. The first reason is the legal. Legal is through a court order where a court will issue a travel ban to an individual to exit, restricting them from exiting or coming into the country. The next is through the administrative. The administrative is by the Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship. This is an administrative authority in the UAE that may issue a travel ban on an individual, restricting them from exiting or entering into the country for one or two reasons. It is important to note that when a travel ban is placed against you, all the circular will be sent to all the border points with all the information of that individual who has been banned from entering the country or who has been banned from exiting the country. This does not necessarily require the authority to have your passport. Even though they do not have your passport, they can still place the travel ban on you. It is important to also note that when a travel ban is placed or when an individual has been deported, such a person will not be able to come back ex unless they do an application to the General Directorate for Residency and Foreigners Affairs and negotiate any possibility of lifting such travel bans. The legal, the legal travel ban is through a court order and the administrative is through the authority, the Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship. This is done by the Director of Public Prosecutions in the interest of the public. If someone is deemed dangerous to the society, such a person will be deported and a travel ban will be placed against them in the interest of the community, the society, the safety and the morality of the community. Well, for what reason would an individual be facing a travel ban? An individual can face a travel ban for a number of reasons. The travel ban may restrict them from entering the country or exiting the country. These are some of the reasons that an individual can be banned from entering the United Arab Emirates. First of all, people with previous People who previously committed crimes and were ordered deportation by the court, such a person cannot be allowed to enter the United Arab Emirates. A person who was deported by the administrative authorities or the Ministry of Interior will also have a ban placed against them and they will not be able to enter the country. However, this ban can be lifted by application to the General Directory and General Directory for Residency and Foreigners Affairs in the respective or in the issuing emirate. 
Another person is persons who activities are reported by the International Criminal Cooperation Department, the ICC. Such people will have travel ban placed against them and they cannot enter the UAE. Who is proved to be suffering from HIV, stroke AIDS and any other related disease that is deemed dangerous by the Ministry of Health and Prevention will also be deported and a travel ban will be imposed on such a person. Such a person cannot enter the United Arab Emirates. Another person is a person deported from the GCC countries for criminal reasons. If you are reported from the, any of the GCC member countries, that is Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Oman, Bahrain, Kuwait, you will not be allowed to enter the United Arab Emirates. It's important to note that the administrative deportation or the administrative travel ban can be lifted by an application to the GDRFA of the respective Emirates, the General Directory for Residency and Foreigners Affairs of the Emirate where you have been banned from or that has issued the, the travel ban or the deportation. I urge you all not to fall victim so that you will not be banned from entering the United Arab Emirates. The UAE is a very good country for both work and leisure tourism and very many other opportunities are in the UAE. These are some of the people that will be banned from entering the UAE. A group of people is the people who have been banned from leaving. You cannot leave the UAE. If you fall under this category, it means that the court or the administrative authority will issue a circular to all border points with your information that such and such a person is not supposed to leave the UAE. <coughs> This does not necessarily mean or does not necessarily require the issuing authority to have your passport because they collect the information online. If a travel ban has been imposed on you, the information will be sent to all border points with your details. A person who has overstayed their visa. If you have overstayed your visa, that is visa overstay, you have fines and you are facing deportation because of that, it means a travel ban will be imposed on you. You cannot enter the UAE. Another instance is absconding case. In the UAE, if a worker goes missing for seven consecutive days without prior notice to your employer, their employer has a right to file an unwanted work abandonment, an unwanted work abandonment report that can only be lifted by your sponsor or it can be lifted by an application and proving that the absconding report is false to the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritization. People who have been reduced, who have their fines been reduced, will also, some of them will face travel ban and they cannot be come, and they cannot come back to the UAE or they may take some time for the ban to be lifted. Another group of people who cannot enter the UAE are those who have defaulted on bank loans. If you have defaulted on a bank loan, most especially the national, most especially the, the local banks, it means that you will also be barred from entering the UAE or leaving the UAE. You cannot leave the UAE. A circular will be sent to all border points that such and such a person has defaulted on their bank loans. They cannot leave the country without clearing all the necessary fees and the principal payments. Another case is late on your rent. Late on your rent. If your landlord has sent several notices to you to clear your rent and you have failed, such a person can go to the rental dispute center of the respective emirate and they will issue a travel ban on you. You cannot leave the UAE until you have paid all the dues. Another case is when you have a criminal case against you. If you have a criminal case against you, a circular will be issued by the administrative authority to prevent you from leaving the United Arab Emirates until the complaint or the case is finally settled 
Until then, you cannot leave it. <clears throat> if you have a case that is under consideration or that is under investigation, you will also be not allowed to leave the UAE. In another scenario, in some civil or commercial cases, for example, non-payment of dues by a company or family issue will also bear you from leaving the UAE. For example, if you have mobile subscriptions, I urge you to pay them on time so that you may not face a travel ban. Another case is when you stood as a guarantor for someone. If you stand as a guarantor for someone, you cannot leave the UAE until such a person has cleared the... If you stood as a guarantor for a family member or a friend, you cannot leave the UAE or a travel ban will be imposed against you not to leave the UAE until such a person has cleared all their issues. Another person who will be banned from leaving the UAE is any person liable for paying government funds. If you are liable for paying government funds or you have defaulted on any payments, you will be, will be banned from leaving the UAE. Another person or another case is absconding case. If persons who absconded from their sponsors and were reported to the police, they cannot leave the UAE until they have finally settled the issue. Whereas it is important to note that your employer cannot file an absconding case if you are outside the country, all people who have been reported as absconding cannot leave the UAE until the absconding has been removed. The absconding can only be removed by their sponsors or by providing necessary information and evidence to the Ministry of Human Resources and Emeritization that until then, the absconding report cannot be removed. Another case is a person, another case is a person against whom an administrative deportation order was issued. If you have been, if you have an administrative deportation order imposed on you, you cannot leave the UAE. You cannot leave the UAE. For example, in civil cases when people have uh, child custody battles or in commercial cases when you have defaulted on company payments, you cannot leave the UAE. For example, mobile phone subscriptions, data subscriptions, I urge you all to take note of the subscriptions that you ask for and make sure you pay them on time and you do not default on them. How does a person know that they have a travel ban imposed on them? It is important you check with the respective emirate where your visa was issued. If your visa was issued in Dubai, you need to check with the Dubai police. The Dubai police has developed an application where you can check for all this information. In my next video, I'll be showing you step by step on how you can check whether you have a travel ban imposed on you. Whether you're from outside the country or you are inside the country, you can check all this information. A person who has had a court order, a person who has had a legal travel ban imposed on them or deportation by court order, they cannot return back to the UAE. An administrative travel ban can be lifted by application to the General Directory of Residents and Foreigners Affairs in the respective Emirate, and such a person can appoint a power of attorney to someone who is already in the UAE to check and negotiate for the possibility of lifting the travel ban against them if they want to come back to the United Arab Emirates. I urge you all to not fall, uh, not fall victims of travel ban because it limits you and your many opportunities that are in the UAE. If your visa was issued in Abu Dhabi and other Emirates, you will download the Tafsil app which is provided by the Abu Dhabi Judicial Department and provide your UID and so that you can check whether you have if you have a travel ban in the system it will be sent to you by email in my next video i will show you how you can check whether you have a travel ban imposed on you 
by providing the Emirates ID number and the UID number for those in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and other Emirates respectively. That is briefly and I urge you not to use this video for legal cases. I urge you to take note of whatever you do in the UAE so that you do not fall victim of travel ban or deportation. Uh, proved to have a disease. A person who has been proved to have a disease that is dangerous to the society will be deported and a travel ban will be imposed on such a person through the administrative authority which is the federal identity and citizenship authority in the respective emirate. The administrative travel ban or deportation can be lifted but the legal, the legal one cannot be lifted. That brings us to the end of our video today. I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on a number of issues and a number of important information. My next video will be on how you can check whether you have a travel ban imposed on you or not. People who were previously deported from the UAE cannot return if the order was passed by court. How does a travel ban start? A travel ban, when a travel ban has been issued on you, a circular will be sent to all border points with your information that such and such a person is not allowed to leave the UAE or is not allowed to enter the UAE. Even if they do not have the, your passport in possession, the respective authority can issue the travel ban. Travel ban can only be lifted by the Ministry of Interior until you provide all the necessary documents and the proof and evidence. Until then, your travel ban cannot be, cannot be lifted. That brings us to the end of our video. I can ask you to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on a <coughs> number of important information. I want to send all greetings to all of you. Those who return, I thank you very much. And those, if you are new to my channel, subscribe so you do not miss out. With all that said, goodbye.